STI Straits Times Index is now trading firmly above 3,300. Historical high was about 3,004 to 3,005. Is it going to break new high? Or is it near to the high point that you are scared that it might just be falling from here? In this video, I'm going to take a look at the technicals of STI and if it's at the high point yet with strong momentum right now, what can you do to hedge into your long-term position? We inspect the price data of STI from about 2019 to now there are various occasions where 3400 became a strong resistance and i mark that with a horizontal level although price exit 3000 for a little bit to hit in 3450 i would think that the strong resistance is now from historical level point of view is now at 3400 so that's the first point right the second point is to take a look into the more recent price movement and what i'm going to do is to draw a trend line connecting the recent high point here and then to extend this trend line then you won't be surprised to find that right now why is SDI showing a dodgy which is a little bit of a confusion type of a candlestick pattern here where the market is pausing and uh, you know haven't decided what it should do next is because that price is right now near to this trend line as a resistance level I'm seeing this dodgy both in the weekly chart as well as today on Monday uh, it is also showing a dodgy here but one thing to bring in that SDI had quite a bullish close last week okay meaning that take a look at this candlestick here right it actually closed above uh, three weeks high that means that there was a bit of a high point here at about 3,320 and finally last week uh, price had a close above this 3,320 level to move higher towards a uh, resistance level which is right now at 3,350. So in other words, what I'm trying to bring forward here as a summary is that STI is near to a historical high point of 3,400 as near to a uh, trend line resistance of 3,350 but has a very strong momentum because price had a close above its three weeks high of a resistance and that's about 3,320. As you can see from the chart, STI has strong momentum, yet trapped by a layer of resistance. Now, as investors or traders with a long STI position, then one might want to prepare for some hedging. By hedging, it means that you're long STI and then you have another instrument which is to cover your downside. That means that the other instruments that you use to hedge is going to benefit if STI is to drop. Head into Sojen, Society General is one of the three DLCs issuers in Singapore. It has the STI index DLCs. I've chosen underlying as STI and a type as all. I'm able to see both the daily short and daily long DLCs. The meaning of daily shorts means that you can buy a daily shorts if you are bearish in view or you can buy a daily long if you are bullish in view. If you think that right now a price is near to a resistance and potentially price might might be heading lower in the future but yet you do not want to give up your existing uh, long stocks portfolio then uh, as investors to hatch into the position uh, the way to do is to buy a daily short DLCs okay daily short DLCs will gain in value if let's say the STI is to move lower from the point that you have traded Right now, I'm at warrens.com.sg. This is a product by Macquarie. Uh, heads to Warren Tools and under the Warren Selector, choose the Simski. So this Simski is a Singapore free index uh, futures. If investors are generally bullish, then choose the call Warren. If investors are generally bearish, then choose a put Warren. If you think the SDI is probably going to move down in the future, then you want to use the Simski, which is Singapore free index futures to hatch into the price movement of the STI then you choose a put contract and in this case here you'll be able to hatch into your existing portfolio with a put warrant. STI is near to some strong resistance but momentum is still strong uh, which I think that at this moment it is necessary to get ready in case that you know some major changes is to happen so I've introduced in this video the use of warrants and DLCs you know for your reference but uh, do evaluate whether these instruments are suitable any form of trading or investment it's gonna be with high risk uh, perhaps you can also leave me in the comment section how you hatch into your existing portfolio there could be other instruments that you are using 
mind. Uh, let me know, share with me, and remember to hit the subscribe button or the like button. Thank you.